Hello again, people. I've done such so many videos today explaining the reasons why I think about this quarantine. Some people will say it's helping them very well getting back to reality and helping them out, which is great. Other people will be struggling with no one to talk to. Now, this does break you down mentally. Um, it really does upset a lot of people. Some people, unfortunately, probably won't make it through this coronavirus, not just because they died of the coronavirus. Some people, it's, it's a word I don't like to use on a video, made us take their own life. And that's a very saddening thing that a lot of family members and people have had to deal with with all the family. No one should deserve to be alone in this crisis, which they're not. Some people are forgotten about. And I'm being serious now. No one deserves to lose their life over coronavirus or anything else or to get depressed and then they take their own life. We're all human beings. Some people probably don't like talking about this because it's a very upsetting subject that I'm talking about. Some people would say talk about better things, but no one deserves it. Everyone needs a person to speak to in a time like this and a crisis like this. I want people to know and be aware in the world. Be with your loved ones, even though you can't hug them or you kiss them or your girlfriend or your mum, or your dad, or your sister, or your auntie, or your uncle, or your friend, or your grandma and granddad, your sisters and brothers. Still keep in contact with them all. All your family members, keep in contact with them all. Call them on the phone. You can ring them on the phone, speak to them. Even though things are bad now, you can still speak to them on the phone. And social distancing, it's very hard for a lot of people that can't even hug their own partners. I know, I understand. I want to see my family as well, doesn't most people. But always be there. To look after them because you never know one day they won't be there and you regret it all the rest of your life like me and my mom i wanted to do more things with her while she was here but she died of cancer breast cancer and she died of other things as well i had cancer myself and i fighted it she wasn't strong enough i asked her to fight it this is personal things that i'm speaking about here about me i miss her very much i really do once you lose your mum, you've lost your best friend. She was probably not hard. Some mums and dads are not, and aunties and uncles and grandma and grandmas are probably not nice to the family members, but uh, but uh, pass all that. They're still your family. They still back you when things are wrong, don't they? You know, I miss her very much. And I believe in paranormal and ghosts and stuff. If you use your phone... You can see orbs. Not everyone believes in ghosts and orbs and afterlife. Some people think when you die, that's it. But that's not the case. There's got to be something else after life. There's got to be. There's got to be. Life doesn't end just there. I mean, I'm not a religious person, as most people know. I may have lived with religious people. But the thing is, there's got to be something else after life. I, I can't imagine it ending there. Now, I thought I did this video just to make an understanding for a lot of people that... Uh, struggle with things i do as well we all struggle nothing bad or anything what i mean by struggling is understanding the world life it's sad sometimes you just wish you can get to these people before they do anything stupid and rescue them and save them which is going to be a good thing but not everyone's got luxuries like that no one to speak to no one to talk to when they're down and depressed and need people to speak to them or you could ring a special line up in case you're down not everyone's there to listen so on everybody in this world needs someone to listen to them and there's a lot of people that are neglected which is kind of horrible we all find it hard and difficult but all as i can say in this video please be there for your families love them appreciate them but anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video give it a like and a comment share it with your friends and i hope you like the video see you in the next one peace please don't make any mistakes Make sure your family there, are there, and you can hug them like this. I'm doing this. You can imagine it—a hug, hug them and love them. When this is all over, you can still talk to them and keep them safe. See you next one, peace.